Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. We got three asteroids that are going to make close approach tomorrow with Earth. The first one being 2024 QM1. That's uh, when it was discovered. Yeah, evidently just this year. These three asteroids are um, traveling at a remarkable speed. And despite their impressive size, experts assure us that none of these asteroids pose any threat to our planet. The first asteroid that's going to pass by us is uh, 2024 QM1. Um, YouTube has got a video where you can watch its trajectory and they got how many hours and how many minutes until it's going to pass. And they actually have a night sky viewer where you can follow it. Uh, this asteroid is approximately 63 feet in diameter. Uh, they're saying the size of a typical house. It's going to pass us at a distance of about 1,160,000 miles from Earth. In astronomical terms, yeah, it is quite close. JPL's got an orbital, orbital viewer of the asteroid. I don't know if you can see how close it's going to be. I'm trying to make this bigger for you. So here we got Earth and then we got the asteroid. Yeah, pretty close. You know, the effect of different planets and the moon and the Earth, the gravitational can change its orbit a little bit. But they say that we have nothing to worry about. The next asteroid that we'll be following close behind on the same date is slightly larger at about 96 feet across. This asteroid would pass by Earth on the same time or the same day, but it's going to maintain a safe distance of 1,098,000 miles. So looking at JPL's asteroid viewer, the white line would be um, the Earth, and then the asteroid is on the blue line. This one, once again, is 96 feet across. The next asteroid that will pass by Earth tomorrow would be 2021. Yeah, that's the year it was discovered, JT. It is roughly the size of a small jet, they say, about 38 feet wide, and will pass within 3,890,000 million, um, miles of Earth. This is its current location, and I don't know if you can see it, I'm trying to make it larger. You can see that, um, yeah, the blue line, no, the white line, excuse me, the white line is the asteroid, the blue line is the Earth. The reason they watch for these asteroids um, is because of the threat to our planet. During the, um, near the end of the Younger Dryas periods, there was a, a meteor shower. They believe that the Earth went through the heavier field, the heavier stream of the Turid meteor shower, and they have actually documented, located, um, a lot of meteor impacts. So you don't know about the ones, of course, out in the ocean. Um, here's different ones that we got over North America and South America. And it actually also impacted all the way by um, Syria and Europe. And what happened was it created a drastic climate change. The impacts probably melted uh, much of the, the glaciers at that time, which created, uh, yeah, a huge flow of water that went through uh, Montana, um, Oregon, Washington, etc. At Obeki Tep Tepe, I believe it is, that is one of the most fascinating um, archaeological sites, I believe, that they have found, that is in Turkey, that documented... Um, this asteroid, this astronomical event. They believe that um, this structure was probably built at least a thousand years after the event. And then, you know, most, most uh, cultures have also their version of different um, astrological signs in the heaven. Here we got um, a vulture, 
and I believe at the bottom they have a, a symbol of the scorpion and then in the center is supposedly the Sun this year the turds uh, meteor shower the earth is going to pass through its stream between October and November also it's known for um, having lots of fireballs and research recently says that they believe that the debris um, from the turd meteor shower is from the common ink which is spelled E-N-C-K-E. -E. Many of you might um, know about the Tunguska event where there was an airburst and all those trees were flattened over a very large area. They believe that asteroid or the airburst actually came from the same meteor shower. That happened up there in Russia. Here's an image of some of the trees that they found that's posted on Wikipedia. Back in 2021, two astronomers uh, put out a research paper about large asteroids that may be hidden in the Turid meteor shower. It says they further suggest that the asteroid swarm is part of, of a debris field left behind by a very large and yet unnamed comet, the one that gave birth to the Inc. comet, which some of its debris is now part of um, the Tourd meteor shower. Something happened there in space about 20,000 years ago, and then about 12,500 years ago, yeah, the Earth went through this stream and was impacted by multiple asteroids. I saw an interesting documentary how um, people actually started um, building underground bunkers there in Turkey. They're, they probably got um, 20, 30 underground bunkers that they built to protect themselves from these asteroid impacts. So anyways, the... Uh, Stones that they recently uncovered at Gobeki Tepe uh, documented this event. They were able to decipher the images on these stones and using um, some kind of astronomical data were able to go back in time to see what what events were the different planets were at and um, different astrological signs, you know, that are in the Zodiac. Um, they had different names back then for what um, we, we have. But they did have the Scorpion, which was interesting. Also, I thought, too, that Gobeki Tepe is also in Turkey, where um, they really don't have a date for the underground bunkers because they've been reused and reused and reused. I could be wrong, but I believe it was Derinkiu, uh, where the king was warned by some heavenly angel of a drastic climate change. Said it was going to be um, a really cold, long winter and to build these underground bunkers. This here is on the Epoch Times. I'll give you a link to it. But supposedly what they did was um, built these shelters underground, put in storages for their animals and interesting kind of like Noah he was told to bring two of the best um, animals um, to stock up on food the best humans so that after um, the climate change that was coming um, which they now theorize was from an, um, the meteor storm that impacted the earth that they could then reemerge and rebuild Many archaeologists believe that the stones that were left at Gobeki Tepe were actually a warning to future generations of what had happened back then. Yeah, there was massive flooding, just like uh, what's talked about in the days of Noah with that great flood. But there's evidently archaeological evidence around the world of great flooding. And then it goes along with uh, the recent discovery of the black layer um, around the world of, yeah, where everything, you know, different types of animals were actually wiped out during the time of these asteroid impacts. 
So it's probably good that they keep an eye on the sky. Yeah, and you wonder, yeah, every year when we go through the meteor shower again, are there, in fact, very large asteroids hidden within that that could impact our Earth? I don't know. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.